I mean, I can like force myself, but what's the point? I mean, with it's YouTube views. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, people? Hola, Vigos are here. Vigos mom. Welcome to another episode. And a bunch of pierogi. <laughs> okay, so you read the title. You know what's up. You know what is happening. We have here this camera is the pierogi camera. Is it the pierogi cam? Uh, we have 100 pierogi. Exactly. Non-Polish speakers. 100 pierogi. It's already plural. <laughs> Not pierogi. This idea came about because I was talking to a friend who was mentioning to me how he was watching uh, this YouTuber eating, I don't know how many boxes of pizza, and I was thinking, oh, that's a fun challenge. I have good, uh, good uh, appetite. And then it got to me, 100 pierogi. First I said that I was gonna eat them, and then Vigo's mom said, but I wanna eat some. He's like, you gotta do it, you gotta help me out. <laughs> exactly. Pomote! Uh, Vigo's mom knows which one are they in which order. Which one are these ones here? So, cabbage and mushrooms. Cabbage and mushrooms. From one brand. Yeah. We just bought in different, uh, we, one in Mleczko, Polish shop here, and the other one uh, in the actual market. supermarket, yeah. Morrison's. And these are also uh, cabbage and mushrooms. Yep. Um, they're all from like Polish, obviously Polish brands, right? Yeah. And these are uh, with potatoes. So they are, now let's call them, r not ruskie anymore. That's, we don't use that word anymore. It's Ukrainian pierogi? It's Actually, just, yeah, ruskie pierogi. That's how you call, call yeah, it. Yeah, uh, someone wrote me on a comment uh, on, a, on a PM. And they explained to me how the idea of now shadow banning the word yeah. Ruskie is not really because Pierogi Ruskie doesn't come from it Russian. Doesn't, it doesn't, actually, traditionally doesn't mean Russian. Rus, Rus was like a another entity that is, you know, doesn't exist politically. Yeah. But it's in the region where now, I guess, a little bit of Poland, a little bit of Russia, a little bit of Ukraine yeah. has been, is now that, 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 that this, this, this place, Rus, I, I think it's called Rusland? I don't know in English. Uh, it used to be there, Rustler. so yeah. Finally, here oh, we yeah, have... Oh yeah, sorry. Truskavki, uh, so strawberries. Okay, With some, a little bit of cinnamon. You're not a fan of like a sweet pierogi thing? Not fruit, really. But you'll try a little bit. She right? really likes them. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put a counter either up here or down here. I'm gonna have my counter of pierogi and so Vigo's mom, Karin, is gonna have her count. And in the end, you know... Is every... it like a pierogi down? Showdown? You know, we're gonna to try to eat 100 pierogi between the both of us uh, and in the end we're gonna see who, who has more, who ate more. They weirdly don't look like it's so much. Yeah, it doesn't look like that much. It doesn't look so over. It's not like a mountain of pierogi that probably would be a thousand. Our bellies will let you know. Oh, by the way, I have to say, I am wearing my Joey pants. You know the Joey pants from, from, from Friends? These are my Joey pants. So Eating pants. I'm, I'm okay. ready. No, but let's start it because I'm very hungry. We haven't eaten breakfast. Oh, I forgot to say. Hold on. She started, the counter starts now. We have to eat this 100 pierogi in 10 minutes. Oh, you didn't know that, let's go. No! Mm. Fuck, that's not pleasant. Mm. Did you just put one pierogi in your mouth? Mm? You have put, put, oh my God. Of course. Mm. One. Really good. I wonder to- uh, Do you want I, a little I, bit I, more of margarine at or which number, vegan butter? I wonder at which number this is gonna start to hurt. Mm. You're on two? Shit. Two. Gotta, I'm gonna be faster now. Mm. Mm. Just inside 10 minutes. A anything made with dough, with flour. Oh, I live for this thing. Mm. <laughs> mm. The first thing. You guys are gonna have to. How many pierogi do you have in your mouth? You guys have to excuse us. We're gonna speak with our mouth <laughs> full on this episode. Mm. Get the one from the bottom because the one on top are cold. Mm. <laughs> the first Polish food that I ever tried was actually pierogi from Pierogi Made Babci. By my grandma, yeah. Mm -hmm. In Warsaw, when you came to visit, let me do the JT style. Because that side. It's a pierogi as well. Mm -hmm. mm. These are the same flavor, but they're different brands. See which one is better. Mm. They are? Mm hmm. I think these are uh, look a little better. They yeah, look a little bit less better. dry. Mm -hmm. Let's dry them. And the dough mm -hmm. is a little thinner. This is one brand, one brand, one brand. 
they're all different. And this one, I think is the same as this one. Mm -hmm. Same company. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm like on number six. I don't know. But the counter. No, delicious. But by the way, about dough and flour, you know, like munch mm nepotrave -hmm. in Polish. Munch mm nepotrave. -hmm. Things made with flour. Mm -hmm. This is how a lot of people gain weight when they. I guess it's it's a universal thing. I mean, in, in our case, in Prona, one yeah. of my friends, girlfriends, yeah, we started living, living for university and living alone, hmm? either in like apartments that we like rented together as friends or in dorms, and all of a sudden, you know, pasta is the fastest and the easiest to make. Mm -hmm. I don't remember many students sitting and peeling potatoes. Sadly, so <laughs> Polish cuisine is dying this way. <laughs> Just cooking quickly a pasta. And then you never know how much to cook, so you kind of like oh, a little bit more, a little bit more, especially if you're cooking only for one person. Yeah. Then you always cook too much, then you serve it, you eat it, and then, but there's a little bit left over, so you're like, oh, I'm not gonna, it's not even the good for the second one, so let me just eat it all. <laughs> and then, yeah, 10 kilograms plus. We met, actually, when Karina lived in Dominican Republic, she, remember, we told you guys, but if you don't remember, Karina lived a year in Dominican Republic, and uh, we made pierogi ruski. Ruskia. Oh yeah, it was not easy because we, it couldn't, easy. It couldn't, we couldn't find some ingredients, I think, for that. Mm. Very nice, if... Also, making pierogi is very... Like, if you don't have... What's it called? If you don't have... We say, jeśli nie masz wprawy. Means... <laughs> there's a fly here, fly. That's a sign of spring in London. Flies are emerging from your trash bins up front, mm -hmm. lovely. Mm, if you don't have practice, right? If you don't use, make it a lot, mm -hmm. then they are very time consuming to make. This is this is a specialty of the of the babchi. Mm -hmm. So, but babchi has just whip it up like, you know, very fast. Masakra. Even when I did my episode, um, Latino cooking pierogi or something like that, <laughs> I remember that even even folding them, See, even, even making them, it's fine. Even folding them, mm. mm -hmm. it's not so easy. You're kind of sticking to your fingers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There's a fly, but we cannot, on this episode, we cannot do a, a cut. We cannot do a cut? No, because we, you know, <laughs> we have a timer. It's not so bad. And they're gonna say I mean, that we are, what is not so bad? She has eaten like four pierogi. <laughs> I'm like on 15. That's not true. <laughs> well, my friends. Mm. They don't think we're gonna eat all of them. <laughs> Sadly, I don't think so. I'm leaving these strawberry runs for dessert. Which one is your favorite pierogi type? Mm. I remember. I, can, I, I cannot find them almost. I mean, at least in London. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like a pierogi clump here, all stuck mm. together. but. I remember I used to work in a bar, mm -hmm. not a bar, I mean it's called in, in Polish it's called a bar, but it's like a bar mlecznie type situation. Like it's Insert a, picture, no I cannot, you cannot cut here, I can, yeah, insert picture of Karina <laughs> working at her bar. They're like, it was in Wuj. In Piot, uh, Piotr, uh, no, it was in... Um, Piotrkowska. Piotrkowska. Cortex, yeah. they, had like, they have a bar, it's called Bar Pieczarka, which is like a, you know, um, homemade food. Mm -hmm. and. And, and I, I remember they had pierogi with spinach and they had crepes with spinach, naliśniki with spinach. Okay. Those were my favorite. So I really like this this flavor. Mm. Well, now my favorite ones are from the traditional ones because, for example, Mama Ella makes tofu filled in lentil filled pierogi, which are delicious. Oh my god, yeah. Wait, 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 don't you cannot mix them because I cannot count them. I have two and a half here. The, half Finish of this that. one is <laughs> what pierogi police. <laughs> yeah, because I'm gonna count them on the, on, the, on there, <laughs> and then you know you know what I mean. Every one so, point so the, I was gonna say that um, from the original ones or whatever, my favorite ones now are the ones with um, capusta egg jabami. Mm -hmm. um, the potato ones are also good. Yeah. I also like them. I think they're just literally one next to the other. 
the, before I was vegan, obviously, uh, zmienzem. Mm. You can make pierogi with like vegan oh, yeah. meat, but I think the ones with lentils just do the job. Or with tofu. There's one brand that sells vegan pierogi with, with tofu and some other things. Uh, Virtu, we couldn't find it here, but I know they sell in London also. Is it starting to get painful for you? No. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm okay. I think I am like... My tank is like 50% full. I know, things that are like made of dough is my favorite type of food. So, sadly, I won't feel the pain. I'll probably feel later. After I, I don't know, try to start walking around. <laughs> yeah, well, we stand up from here. <laughs> We're on the floor because we're using the natural light from the window, so... But, we just say that this pierogi, we, we only they will have a little bit of like butter because she has some yogurt there for, for, for the story ones, but mm, the more you put on them, the more, yeah. <laughs> more things take space on your, on your belly. Mm. But the ones with fruit, I mm -hmm. really like them too. They are usually served with, with sweet cream or like whipped, no, I don't think whipped cream, mm -hmm. but like with, mm, it's, it's sour cream that then you add sugar and you kind of mix it together, maybe some cinnamon, yeah. depending on which fruit it is. More traditional, I think, are strawberry mm -hmm. field and yagode field, which is not the same as blueberry. It's wild blueberries. Mm -hmm. I think it's my mom's favorite. The ones with wild blueberries. Mm. But do you have also ones with, with normal blueberries? No, they're, they're with wild I don't blueberries. think they're made with... They're not called normal blueberries. <laughs> they're, called, <laughs> they're called... In Poland they're called American blueberries or American berries. Hmm. American berries they're called. They are different by the way. We noticed that the ones in Poland are like smaller? Because those are wild blueberries. Oh. You can buy them or eat them anywhere in the world. Mm. I mean, anywhere the climate permits. Mm. The ones here... Are a little bigger, a little softer, right? Those are the American berries. Mm -hmm. We have them in Poland as well, as under the name American berry. Okay. Yeah, when I, in America and in here, they, they are called blueberries, and the ones that we eat are called wild blueberries because they are wild. I mean, you can go pick them in, in the forest, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which you know the wild people from Eastern Europe still do, <laughs> and here people don't do it as much. So I like about Polish people, they go, they pick up their own <laughs> mushroom, their own. You know, wild blueberries. They all vodka, bimber. They make it vodka. behind her, their house. No, I don't think that's a, it's that common to make your own vodka. I think it's legal even. <laughs> you can see my face that I'm. I'm good. I'm already getting there. You, you, you think you're good. I mean, she's good for sure. Let me tell you guys this. Let me tell you guys this, and I should not be pointing at you, but this is a special case. <laughs> Take your pierogi away. Let me tell you something. And all of you foreigners that have a Polish uh, woman as a partner <laughs> or, no or family or no Polish women really yeah. well, let me know. Polish women eat very well, right? They have very good appetites. You Maybe guys. My family just. Ruining. No, I don't think Polish so. I've heard, I've heard others about others also. Yeah. It's like if you see a Latina eating, it's like, oh, you know, maybe two pierogi and they're gonna be like, oh, fool, whatever, even if they go and stuff their faces. Your and, mom eats like a bird. Oh. Yeah. My mom has childlike, uh, like literally, she has a, a fork that is for kids. It's like a, for kids. That's the one she, she likes. Yeah, but she eats very little, that's true. Mm. And in Poland... My mom claims that she doesn't eat much. She only eats a lot during Christmas and holidays and special occasions. If that stomach is not being exercised to expand, <laughs> it's not going to expand on one <laughs> night. <laughs> this is constant, constant expanding happening there all throughout the year. That's incredible because she's tiny. She's small and she just... She has... And you know, she's really athletic. She likes to bike, she likes to walk and go on the mountain. Yeah, maybe and like, way, yeah. Where do you put all that? And also babchi. You see the bob chest? Yeah. My mom was like in awe. First time we had a Christmas, and she was like, "Oh my <laughs> God!" It's like even the, even the grandmas, she, they are like 80 years old, and she the amount of food that they're just putting down their throat is like, wow, respect. So let me know. I think I'm getting full. You're getting full, huh? I wonder how many I ate. 
But we're not doing we're not doing it so bad to be honest. I think I, mean, I ate like 30. <laughs> the counter doesn't lie. And usually during obiat, oh sorry, it's my phone. During mm. eating, mm, like uh, during uh, if it's a proper meal in mm -hmm. Poland, I would eat like maybe seven. No. Yeah. And probably also like some salad on the side yeah. or something. And now I eat like 30. I don't know. Let maybe. me try one of those. I, I am not a fan of the. First of all, I don't like strawberry. You want some sugar? Look, I have sugar here for you. It's fine. Sure they're gonna be sour for you. Okay. Because you. I'm not a fan of, of, of um, fruits. Some brown sugar that's all clumpy. This is just so people don't say. What happened to the to the ones with the strawberry? Mm. <laughs> Full. Mm. After that, I'm gonna have to take a nap. Mm. That's my dessert. I'm saying that I'm full, but I'm still having two more. They're not bad. That's the magic of pierogi. They're really not bad. You see? Mm -hmm. You need to expand your pierogi palette. Pierogi, pierogi horizon. Look how pretty that looks. Oh, look at look at her pretty. All look. I'm thinking is what's mm. gonna happen when I stand up from here. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the end of this video. We're gonna turn into one giant pierogi. Oh, Vigo is excited, but after he goes back from the nursery, he's gonna have some pierogi also. Yeah. This morning we're planning it. He said, I want pierogi! Aww. I'm gonna guesstimate right now. Let's do. Let's take a quick guess. How many do you think you have eaten? Of course, the real number is probably up there, but... Mm, I don't think I would... Maybe 25. 25, you think? Mm -hmm. I think I've eaten... I've 33 eaten, pierogi. I've gotten too cold. 33, this is 34. Mm. Mm. Strawberry I think. inside was warm. It was good. Whenever they are warm, and you, in the dough, you know, we didn't put the butter on it immediately. It's gotten started to. It's, uh, it started getting dry, so then. Well, obviously, we had to prepare everything, so. Do you think it's been more than 10 minutes? I think it's more than 10 minutes by now. I, I hope so. Obviously, we, we will see on the screen when we reach the 10 minutes and how many pierogi we ate in 10 minutes. And then we're just going to continue to see, you know, what, what's the, the final pierogi. I mean, I can like force myself, but what's the point? I mean, what is YouTube views! <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. We're going to have to do <laughs> more ambitious things than Woo! this. <laughs> when you have to breathe a couple times before you breathe. You have another bite, <laughs> you know the thing is getting serious. We're not gonna have Okay, I think I'm gonna eat one of each and that's it. And I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> no, I mean, like you said, I can force more. I'm gonna force more, no, goddammit. No, that's also wasteful. Let's not be like that. I'm because that, I can't. <laughs> haven't, haven't even, look at this, I haven't even... Bro, love you. Release the kraken. Stand up and release it. <laughs> I will know what's the real truth there. <laughs> mm. But they're very good. I mean, I think obviously they will always tell you that it's always better to do homemade. And when I compare it to the ones that my mom or my aunt or my babcha make, yeah. babchas make, obviously. But they are really close second, and it's a very cool, convenient way to buy something. You know, especially if you live abroad. To maintain this, you know, Polish tradition, and mm -hmm. to have your children try them if they if you don't visit too often, or if your family cannot come, you know, like Vigo really. First time he had pierogi was here. They were actually bought from the Polish shop. Yeah. Or okay. maybe the ones that my mom made, but but they were. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like <laughs> a kick up right The pierogi, pierogi is going up. Mm. That he 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 tried different flavors from. From from a lot of those shops here yeah. in the area because you know we wanted him to try the Dominican food and Polish foods and obviously just the I mean it's like the, it. like the you know whatever they give him in nursery or whatever yeah. we make that is like not really specific like vegetables and rice and potato or pasta I mean those things come from different cuisines but the way we make it sometimes is you don't know what's from what it's from right because it's like mixed up. Also, let's not be purist. Sometimes, if you live abroad, you cannot make them homemade, you know? Yeah. So you buy them and they are as good as the next best thing, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. What else we buy sometimes? We buy some uh, kluski also. Like a bit, I think, and the schnauz. I, you can, I can feel the fullness on your face. 
Like the, the, it's getting to the point that I don't want to talk about food anymore. <laughs> we are in front of this. I'm have to. I have to finish those. Don't do. No, leave them. They no, are no, good. No, no, I'll no. have them later. No way. <laughs> no, don't eat so much because work. you're gonna feel bad. You see, that's those are the wipes. The wipes are always se sensible. What's gonna happen later? They have oh, common, have wait, wait. I cannot. Common sense. Oh, I feel so so. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Oh my God. Marriage is not for everyone. Mmm. But how you feel? Yes. Like, honestly, I feel like I feel full, but I don't feel like sick. I feel like okay, Christmas level. So keep food. eating. No, I don't want to feel sick. It's too, you don't get too good to just kind of butcher them like that, you know? Like force yourself to then hate them. <laughs> if you're gonna feel sick after, you're not gonna want to look at them. And I want to keep looking at pierogi. That's why it's a, it's a challenge. It's a mm. challenge eating a hundred pierogi. No, but let me see. I I don't I know. Think we should already finish. I don't know. You don't see like time on this camera there somewhere? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's eight. It's 22 minutes. No. Yeah. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay. <laughs> done. I am. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> now you're gonna roll away. Boom! That's all. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> That's all, guys. That's the end of this episode. Eat some pierogi. Eat some pierogi. Support. Polish food. <laughs> I don't know, the timer up there will tell us how much we ate. Yeah, if we failed or we succeeded. I mean, we didn't succeed because obviously there are a bunch I of people left. I think there were more than 100 here, but obviously yeah. uh, not that much more. So yeah, maybe it was like around 80 that we ate, 70 together. Anyway. Let us know how many pierogi you think you guys can eat. And tell us which ones are your favorite pierogi ever in the comments. Bye bye guys. Bye.